What's going on, TikTok? Cameron Devon crew. About to go out to the Clark County wetlands out here in Vegas and get a good jog on. It's a beautiful day. Sun shining down on all of us out here in Vegas. About 100 degrees this weekend. So I'm right behind the strip. I'm leaving my high rise right now. The wetlands that I go to is like the only place in Vegas that's a green. And it just goes for miles. You have a, a huge bike of people calling you, texting you constantly. Stuff going on in the city. So you can see the strip behind me. And it's beautiful out here. My number one rule for fitness, just try to make sure you break a sweat every day. You might not always have two, three hours to go to the gym, 90 minutes or an hour, but if you can get you a good 15, 20, 30 minute workout in every day consistently, you'll be all right, you know? You'll maintain a decent muscle tone even when you get busy and it'll just keep all of your organs doing good. It'll keep your skin healthy, your heart healthy, your circulation, and you'll feel good. Like it is absolutely critical to move every day and break a sweat, get your blood going to feel good. You said, am I from Vegas originally? No, love, I'm actually from Georgia. So I grew up in a 6,000 person town in rural Georgia. And it was always my dream to like live in a major city, have a convertible, be able to do whatever I want. I'm, I'm fly, I'm a player, I'm having a good time. 28 years old, enjoying my life. I started my self-development journey in 2012. I read my first two books, Think and Grow Rich and Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I started learning about the fact that you can get wealthy and I learned that you can control your emotional state, your mental state, and you can control what happens to you in the world. You don't have to be a victim of what circumstances you find yourself in what your parents may have left you with, or, you know, like in my case, they didn't think me with shit. So, you know, get your mind right, develop a picture of what you want for yourself in the future, work on it every day, believe in yourself like a motherfucker, and you will get towards it. You have to have a blistering confidence in yourself. I'm hopping off this live and getting my sweat on, you did. sport mode I'm in the BMW 4 series I also have an Audi A4 2019 but this is Vegas Vegas is a drop top city so when you're out in Vegas you have all these beautiful buildings I mean look at the sky you got mountains all around let me show you Let's see how we look you know what I'm saying? We got mountains. Look at that horizon. Get the camera a switcheroo. Let me flip this. Yes, indeed. You got the strip behind me. Yeah, Vegas is a beautiful place. If you've never been to Vegas, definitely come out here anytime between about May and October. Beautiful place to be. The pools out here are dope. Plenty of beautiful women out here. Plenty of fly dudes. And there's always something to do. And Vegas is a relatively cheap city off the strip. You know what I mean? If you want to come out here and go to the nightclubs, get you a promoter, get on their guest list, they'll get taken care of. <clears throat> I fucked around and dropped my water. Yeah, 
any advice for relationship building, networking, plenty of advice. Um, the first step for relationship building is to take care of yourself because you really can't be in a functional, healthy relationship and you can't really be of value to anyone unless you're happy and content and at peace with yourself. You can't have baggage. You know, you can't have any guilt or shame and you can't have any severe traumas that are gonna make you be what I call a relationship war veteran. Where when you get into a relationship, you just go around dumping your baggage on other people and now you start creating victims of whatever it was you went through. So you can't be that kind of person out here in the dating game. Even with your friends, you know what I mean? Most of your conversations with other people should be positive. If you find that when you're talking to your friends or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever, you're always complaining about some shit and you always have negative stuff to say, then that's kind of how you know you're really not ready to be in a relationship. Deal with your negativity in your journaling. Deal with your negativity with your... That's what I'm seeing a professional. Deal with your negativity with people like me. No, I'm not gonna... You're not gonna get on the phone with me and vent to me if, if you want to do a consultation. But I can speak to you about how to constructively put together a, together a plan. And I can recommend some books and other learning materials that you can get a hold of that'll empower you to get over your trauma and, and to get rid of your baggage. But... Now, as long as you're happy and healthy, when you meet people, spread positivity and see how you can be of value to other people and make sure you qualify the people that you're going to allow into your space. So you shouldn't get into a relationship with a man or a woman just because he's cute or she's fine. Make sure somebody's of value to you and make sure that when, whenever y'all are cooperating together, y'all are going to a constructive place. So like every time you get into and out of a relationship, you and the person you were dating should both be in a better place because of the relationship. In many cases though, you, people leave the relationship both depressed, an anxious, um, full of negativity. And like I said, people are just out here, relationship war veterans going from relationship to relationship, fucking up other people's lives. So that's my advice. And to all my fellas, you know, y'all gotta get off these dating apps. You gotta take a shower, get fresh and clean, put on some fly clothes, go to some cool environments, a lounge, the grocery store, fitness events, whatever it is, networking events, and actually open your mouth and learn how to speak to women. Hello, I agree that if a person is going to take away and never give, let that person go, absolutely. Absolutely. Pay very close attention when you're when you're first meeting people to how they act. Like if they're not a generous, respectful, positive person up front, then you definitely know it's only going to get worse whenever life gets harder and y'all actually start going through problems together. So if you're at a cool place in life right now and you meet somebody and they can't even be positive and healthy in that situation, imagine what happens when you have a financial challenge or something happens with your health or you you know you just have challenges at work that person's negativity is only going to increase so when you first meet a person any negative qualities that you see up front are only going to get worse with time cuz people always enter a relationship with their best foot forward nobody's getting into a relationship letting people know how fucked up they are you know what i mean like nobody's going to show you all their baggage right when you meet them that they're going to do their best to hide it and make it seem like they don't have any baggage. So you have to pay attention to the little slips. Like every time they slip up and say something negative or every time y'all go out to eat and they never want to be the one who picks up the bill. Because even when I'm dating like women, obviously I'm paying for most of the stuff, but I look at a woman real funny style if she never offers to pick up this check or pick up you know these drinks at this lounge. That, that's a red flag. Now, of course, in most cases, I'm going to have more money than the woman. But, you know... You should, you should want to like, nobody should want to be, no grown ass adult should want to be in a relationship where all they are is a burden to the other person. So if you have that kind of person who's so selfish to the point where they don't even, oh, they're not even aware of how much they're taking, you can't be with uh, someone like that. Like they're not helping you get to anywhere in life. They're literally just added baggage for you. 
getting on my cat thing. And when y'all do come out to Vegas, I highly recommend going to uh, the Red Rock Mountains. There's a beautiful 13 mile scenic loop with the mountains are colored from everything from orange to burgundy to red. So if you're from the East Coast, trust me, you've never seen any, any kind of mountains like this. And when you come out to Vegas, make sure you make some time to get you a little workout in, in the mornings and everything. People come out here and they think they're gonna day drink all day, take a nap and then keep drinking all through the night, day after day. That'll ruin your trip, man. You'll go to the pool, you'll get trashed at the pool, pass out in the hotel room, and then you'll check out at night because, and then you miss like one or two whole nights of your trip here because you didn't know how to manage your drinking. So when you come out here, don't go overboard. It's like a, a little kid that's never been to a candy store. And then all of a sudden you're 18 and then you first get introduced to candy and then you go crazy in the candy store. That's what it's like the first time you come to Vegas. Vegas is like Disneyland for adults, but it's rated R and it's debaucherous. out here on the interstate by myself just driving and I can see the mountains and I ain't got no roof on the car and the sun is just touching my scalp like it's it's surreal when I first came here in 2015 I was driving around in a beaten up busted cobalt that had dents all in the doors it had been into a wreck it had hella miles on it I had 90 something dollars in my checking account when I first got here. Now I got two foreign cars. I live in a high rise condo. And like, I really did this shit. But I wrote everything that I'm doing down in my visualization journals every single day for the last five years. My quote back in the day was, life can be like a music video. And it is for me now. I wake up in a fly high rise. I go run my business. I go make my money. I'll take a cruise down the strip just to get a break from the house. Then I'll come get some exercise in. I'll eat a healthy meal. I have a beautiful woman with me. I'm gonna shower, put on some black clothes, put on a suit. You know what I mean? Put on an $800 outfit. And then I'll step out on my balcony and I'll do like a little mental gratitude prayer just to myself, looking out, giving thanks for all the blessings that I have in my life and all the opportunities around me out here in Vegas. And then I go hop in the whip, cruise on the strip. I meet beautiful women all the time, cool guys all the time. And I'm like, yo, my life is literally like a music video. Sometimes I can't believe I'm actually Cameron Divine Crew. This shit is dope, man. But I had to make it this way. Like, the way I grew up was fucked up. When I grew up, I didn't have, I mean, we were in poverty. I, I had domestic violence. Like, my youth was, was tragic. I was in the streets at an early age. So I had to move away from Georgia and my little town to get away from the negativity. So I moved away from Statesboro, went down to Orlando, Florida. And I was living right downtown in Orlando with like three of my friends in a two bedroom, sleeping on air mattresses. But we had a nice apartment. We all shared one car. We all had a job. And we did self-development together every day. Went to the gym together every day. And put on our shoes and, and you know what I'm saying? Put the sneakers on the pavement to go learn how to talk to females every single day. We moved from Orlando to Vegas. I stayed out here for a year, moved to Phoenix. Then I moved to Atlanta for two years and came back to Vegas. 
So I've done a lot of shit. It was dope. And now I'm out here with y'all. Hopefully, you know, me telling these stories and hopefully me making these videos gives you some good information to help you empower yourself. And I just hope it's an inspiration, you know. But you, you gotta trust and believe. If you focus on it and you know what you want and you work hard, you can achieve whatever you want. And I'm not done, trust me. I'm, I gotta keep grinding until I get to the Mercedes Maybach. And I'm in the one bedroom in the high rise, but I need the penthouse. It's gotta keep going up. Life is beautiful, man. Even when I didn't have shit though, even when I was sleeping on the air mattress, I would still wake up and I would I would open my window, roll, you know, pull the blinds up, and I would look outside and be like, yo, I'm so blessed. Like I have so many blessings in my life. I walked right into the living room into the kitchen. I had an empty refrigerator and some spaghetti sauce, some pancake mix, and some syrup in the cupboard, but I still felt like I had blessings in my life. Like I still walked around with that energy. And that helped me be better at business. It helped me be better in sales, make more money. So I kept <clears throat> I kept saying I'm so blessed and it put that energy into me. So everything I did was more powerful. So you get to the point where when you feel like you're blessed and you believe that you're blessed no matter what you have, you'll actually start bringing the blessings into your life. You know, you can give thanks to God, you can give thanks to the universe, whatever you pray to. At the end of the day, everything that everybody says is true, man. Just have faith, work hard, believe in it, it'll happen. You, you do have to make it happen, though. You're not gonna wake up one day and just be a player. You're not gonna wake up one day and be a woman married to a very valuable man. Or you're not gonna be a woman who's gonna wake up one day making $20,000 a month. You have to work towards it. But you have to see it first. And I always say, practice your affirmations because back in the day, I had to get comfortable looking at myself in the mirror, looking at myself in the eyes, knowing good and well, I got a car that's about to break down. I got maybe $200 in the bank, but I had to look at myself in the eyes and say, I'm gonna live in that high rise, I'm gonna drive that car, I'm gonna have those females. And it's an uncomfortable thing to say something like that to yourself with conviction, knowing good and damn well you, you don't have any of those fruits in your life. But if you can get comfortable doing that, that's how you start de uh, developing the confidence. And you gotta believe in yourself, that's where confidence comes from. Confidence does not come from being accomplished. That's a big ass misconception. Confidence comes from delusionally believing in yourself. Because you have to have faith in things that you can't see. And you have to believe that you can do things that you haven't done yet. But if you don't believe in yourself and then you try to go out here and do these things, you're gonna fail. So whatever you believe in becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you believe that you're gonna make money, eventually you will make money because the confidence is going to affect your actions and it's going to make you more potent in what you do do you understand what i'm saying and you got to speak positively i can't tell you how many people send me dms and the dms like 95 percent or more are just negative it's just negative shit. like people are always talking about what's going wrong in their relationship how much money they don't have, you know what I mean? How they're not happy or how they're like out of shape, whatever. But like, I never get people DMing me saying, man, you know, what you do inspires me. I love my life right now, but I'm, you know, I'm still working towards what I want in the future. Like I, I never get those messages. But back in the day, that's how I thought. And when I would talk to people, that's all I spoke about. Like I could pull up to the bar in a raggedy ass whip <clears throat> in some clothes that I've had for three years but I'm still gonna speak up on like the dope things going on in my life. And I'm always gonna shine light on the dope things that I've been doing. Even if those dope things may be mediocre to certain people. If you did a 30 minute workout today, but you didn't work out yesterday, that's dope. Now, if you do an hour workout today and tomorrow, 
and then you fall off for three days, that's not dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be consistent. You gotta be real with yourself. This is the first time I see you not in a suit. Listen, I'm about to go get my jog on. I might, I might have came out here in the suit and make a video of me jogging in the suit just, just to be fucking funny. Hello. Proud of you. I appreciate you, love. I gotta tone back my vulgarity. I know TikTok doesn't like it when people curse and stuff in their lives, so it's probably gonna affect my viewership. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, and everybody, make sure you follow me on YouTube. Uh, I have a lot of long form videos that I'm just now getting uploaded. I've just had a lot going on, like with work and uh, moving and everything, and buying these cars and starting businesses, but. So I haven't been making as many videos lately, but I'm getting all my videos. I'm catching up and getting stuff on YouTube. So make sure you go check out that. That's where I break down the real deep game because I'll just spit and drop knowledge for like 90 minutes straight. So make sure you follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is a lot more wild. I'm a lot more of myself on Instagram. On TikTok, I really have to filter myself. Not that I care about like what y'all think about me in that you know sense. No offense, but you know TikTok will kind of kill my views if I'm cursing and wiling and partying with females in my videos too much but you can go see everything I do on Instagram I have a lot of fun out here in Vegas yes indeed appreciate you game young OG man I appreciate it thank you for the acknowledgement I'm 28 years old love I am 28 years old, girly vlogs by Gina. It's a catchy name, love your suits. Thank you very much. I love the suits too. I love how my suits fit. Like I like fitted clothes. I recommend all my players that are just getting in the suit game, go to Express, man. Get in shape and go to Express. They have really well tailored suits. So even though they're not that expensive, they fit you so good that it looks expensive and it looks fly. So start your suit game off at Express. Yes, indeed. What kind of ride, Cam? This is a BMW 4 Series. You know, it's, it's my starter foreign, you know what I mean? But I like it though. This car is fun for sure. Take care of yourself, stay hydrated. Go get you some water right now. We get it. Make sure y'all tune back in later. I'm gonna be on the strip. I'm gonna make a lot more live videos because I want y'all to really see Vegas and I want y'all to kind of see how I interact with people and how I just get out here and move and shake. So check me out. I'll be on the strip later. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to run up on some of my people who I know are on the strip and see if I can get them in the live too. That'll be fun. I was speeding in the cop pass. But thank God though, he's not he's not sweating me today. Yes indeed, TikTok. I'm in a drop top cruising the streets. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got a real pretty, pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. I pull up. You been gangster? Everything is good, bro. Living.
spiritually sound man mentally focused physically healthy if you got those three things you're blessed if you have your health your mind and your body you ain't got a problem trust and believe on some real shit the more money I've made the more things I've accumulated the nicer things I've accomplished have not amounted really anything to me being happier I was pretty much just as happy when I was broke but I had my mind right my spirit was right and I was healthy and you can control those things you can't always control the money you can do your best to make the money but you can't control that you have yourself though there we go. I'm about to pull the top up on him. Tweety dee hee hee. Groovy. I'm in a drop top cruising the streets. As long as you good, the rest will come. That's a fact. That's a blessing. Speak positivity upon yourself. You know what I mean? Watch the roof come up. That was a magic trick. Houdini. All right, y'all, I'm about to go get uh, my jog on. I got to stay healthy. Y'all stay up. I'm going to holla. Cameron Devon crew on the Las Vegas Strip. What is going on, TikTok Nation? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, 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 indeed. We got Resort World behind us. Looking extravagant. You know, almost like me. They're catching, they're catching up. Man, it is beautiful in Las Vegas. Let me show you this sunset horizon. Look at that. Look at the mountains behind me. Look at the sun casting in, looking heavenly. Feeling fantastic. I gotta say a gratitude affirmation to this one. I'm so grateful for all the blessings, the abundance, the opportunities around me. I'm so grateful to be living here in Las Vegas. I'm grateful that I'm healthy mentally sound able-bodied fly I mean, i'm i'm thankful that i'm handsome why am i so handsome though why i gotta be like that why, do, why does the sky have to look like that right now we're about to go down las vegas boulevard i'm gonna pull up on a few people i know out here and i want y'all to see what it's like being out and about in las vegas when you do it the right way do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, indeedy. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, love. Look at him. He's got the luxury touch V-neck, the blood red pants, the sparkly shoes. Good job, Steve Madden. And I had to show you all the blazer, blood red. You know what I mean? Dripping. <laughs> like it was a crime scene. But it cruised down the strip. Yes, indeed. Hi, hi. You know, I've been taking care of business. That's where I've been at. But, you know, it doesn't matter. We back. Living good. Still healthy. Still intelligent. Check it out. Huh? Huh? Look at the resort world. Look at Majestic. Absolutely. If you've never been to Las Vegas, we're on the south or the north side of the strip, actually. And I know you don't see my videos, but look, they're coming out. Subscribe to my YouTube. Right now, we're posting a lot of long form content where I'm giving y'all a lot of knowledge so you can empower yourself, breaking down the game, doing everything healthy, keeping it organic, natural, drink water, eat fruit, get you some good produce, good job, Whole Foods. And that's how we do it. Right now we have a big R&B concert out here in Las Vegas. We've got a lot of legends, Usher, and countless more. So we got a lot of people out here in Vegas, you know what I mean? We got the security guard right here doing what he does. Absolutely. And he's a promoter out here. Next time, 
So when y'all come to Vegas, I got that hook. So when y'all come to Vegas, I got that hook. K for king. K A M. King. Um. Hmm? That's Absolutely. you. This is the encore, and that's the win. Encore Beach Club. Excess nightclub is inside of the win. That's where you're gonna find the players or the fellas, the gentlemen who have their bank account in shape. You understand? Yo, I can't wait for the new years. I'm gonna be out there. Niner Raider game, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, come out here for that, man. And make sure you tap in with a player and make it legendary. Absolutely legendary. This is Las Vegas living. We got palm trees in the desert. You know what I'm saying? Imported straight out of Florida. Doing it big. Now, if you want to get fly when you come out here, all my fellas, or my bad, all my ladies, get you a man with some paper to take you to this mall. That's the fashion show mall. And you got all the designer brands. You got the Neiman Marcus, you got the Gucci, you got the Versace, you got the Steve Madden, whatever you need, they got it. I've gotten a couple good pieces from there as well. If you're into Italian food, you gotta go to the Palazzo in Venetian. That's the Palazzo, and the Venetian is straight ahead. I'm just promoting my city, you know what I mean? Because I have a fantastic time here, y'all will too. Just get out here. Set aside some coins in your piggy bank and get you a good cheap flight. Come out here and do what you do. What you think of Sky Towers, I'm moving there next month. Sky Towers, I almost moved there actually. Sky is nice. I would definitely give Sky a thumbs up. How we ask a guy with money to get me something? Well, first of all, he's gotta be interested in you. What you need to do is make yourself a good investment. So you gotta have your mind right, your emotions right. You gotta have good energy. Because a man with money doesn't want burden in his life. And a man with money wants to be around fun. He wants to be around attractive women. You need to find a good simp. Get you a good simp that's a lawyer, an engineer, some shit like that. He, he you know, don't get a player because a player ain't gonna give you no money. I ain't. <laughs> Look, baby, I ain't gonna give you no money. I give you a kiss a long D in a good time, but I ain't gonna give you no money. So get you a dude who's not used to the finer women in life. Get that guy, and then he can actually break you off some paper. But how do you ask him for money? You, you let him know what you need, easy. Closed mouths don't get fed. So you gotta tell him, hey look, you know, I'm looking at this dress at Balmain. I'm trying to get this jewelry from David Yerman. I wanna go on a trip to Santorini, Greece. And if he gets the picture, if he's got the paper, he will follow through because he wants to be with you. You understand? I'm driving in a BMW 4 Series, convertible obviously. You know, we got the titties out, meaning the roof is off. Y'all better stay tuned. Now here's the shitty part of Vegas. The parts I never go to. The horror, the link, the mirage. My favorite spots are Caesar's Palace, the Cosmopolitan, the Win and Encore, and Resort World. I work for BMW, bro. If you need service, I'm your guy. Man, look, if you're in Vegas, I actually do got to get service next week. So DM a player and let me know what's good, bro. You got to give me that hookup, though. Circus Circus is my favorite. Circus Circus is kind of raggedy though, you know? I once, I'm gonna give y'all a player story. I once met some broads at Excess. Bounce from Excess, it was a good time inside, you know what I mean? Like we had the table, da da da, doing the vodka shots and everything. Went to the dance floor, a jiggity jig, a little grindity grind. And then we bounced, went over to Circus Circus. When I saw they were standing there, I was like, okay. Cause they were pretty, I was like, surprising. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? I, I stay the night, do what I do. 
And the other female, like the female I was with, her friend was on Tinder and he or she invited a dude over. He came over at like 1 a.m., did the powwow. He put the whammy dam down on the female. I wake up in the morning around 10 in the morning. I had $200 in my pocket. I woke up, there was no cash in my pocket though. So I'm like, okay, what in the hell dusty nigga done went to my pat like my pants that were bedside and took a little bit of paper. You know what I'm saying? So I don't fuck with circus circus just because you never know what kind of individuals are gonna be there. Now here we got Caesar's Palace. Luxurious. Omnia nightclub is at Caesar's Palace. Omnia is the place to be. I really like Omnia. These taxis be stressed out here. These taxi drivers be hella stressed, running through pedestrian crowds, just trying to hurry up and get to the next ride so they can get a little bit of tip money. It's lagging, you know, it's a strip, man. It's a lot of people out here, bro. So the connectivity might not be A1 sauce, like you're gonna put it on a, a prime steak, but stay with me. We're about to go inside the link. I'm gonna introduce y'all to my cousin, solid dude, stand up dude, buff dude, very handsome, player himself. Man, I can, you know, listen, bro. We got 5G, we got 3G, whatever it do. We got player G. My man is trying to get that answer heavy, boy. Ask me again, man. I'm in a garage, bro, so just stay tuned. Stay tuned, bro. Living in Vegas is like being in an in an adult Disney world, man. We do whatever, whatever the fuck we want out here, bro. Go to the clubs, meet new people on a nightly basis. The money is good out here. The cost of living is relatively low. You can come out here and have a fantastic time, man. He said the gold frying pan you know what i mean i'm gonna sizzly sizz up up a couple vegan omelets on that that's what i'm gonna do love love your content thank you i'm a girl oh sorry love sorry love i'm sure that you're very attractive and beautiful in your way from dubai straight out of vegas now dubai is fly dubai is like a bucket list place for an american we want to go to dubai you know, Dubai is clean, it's nice, beautiful women, the tallest building in the world, the biggest shopping mall in the world. I know about Dubai. <laughs> but we in Vegas right now, though. And we are at the link, ladies and gentlemen of Organic Growth Nation. We are at the link. Put that crown on the player's head one more time, though keep doing it you got to give yourself positive affirmations man you got to love yourself you got to know that you are that one you got to know you're fly you got to know you're you're here to have a good time yeah winding and grinding man what's going on bro Yes, indeed. You know, wh why did I drop the top? I had to do it for the ladies, but I also needed that good vitamin D. My doctor said, hey, look, man, you're low in vitamin D, so I bought the convertible. I was like, you know what? <laughs> you're right, doctor. Let me make sure that I am accessing the sun's nutrients on a daily basis. Been to Vegas a few times, love it. Oh, I know you do. Vegas is a one of the one. No other city like it ask you i'm coming from financially well family and find it hard to ask guides for things and spoil me somebody put a sombrero and a mustache i like how y'all can do that that's player that's cool um the way you ask men for money is be valuable be attractive take care of yourself be healthy and know that a man with money doesn't want a woman adding burden to his life so number so number one just be convenience for the man. Number two, go to places where wealth is and you'll find wealthy men. 
and you have to qualify the man that you're dealing with. So don't deal with a poser. Don't deal with a dusty nigga that doesn't actually have shit popping, but he's fronting because he's trying to get in them draws. You dig? Now, when it comes to asking the man for money, you simply ask the man for what you need. You let him know indiscreetly, hey, look, I've been shopping for this dress at Balmain. I'm at David Yerman. They have a nice necklace. These earrings are amazing. Let him know what it is. And if he's with it, then he'll put it down to be inside your company. But finding parking out here is a bitch. Y'all gotta bear with me. I'll be inside in a second though, and y'all can see the strip. It's gonna be fly and playerish. It's gonna be beautiful. Like all my beautiful ladies listening. And here we go. <laughs> they just cleaned these floors. These shit's squeaking hella hard. And look, once again, while everybody's in the room, follow me on YouTube. I'm going to put up long-form content. Type in Cameron Devon Crew. You know what it do. Teaching y'all about self-empowerment, breaking down the game, giving deep knowledge, keeping it positive so you can uplift yourself and stay healthy. Oh, I'm in Vegas. She spelled Vegas wrong. I'm in Vegas. All right, y'all. Now we going inside. yee Hopping out the whip with a fresh fit. Y'all got to bear with me. I got to put my suit back on. Mm-hmm. It sounded classy. Yes, love. I keep it classy. I keep it fresh, playerish, positive, organic, alkaline, bust down. You know what we do. Cameron Devon crew. One second. No, we, we, we got to keep the top off. Fuck that. <sighs> Hitting the elevator. Actually, I don't want to lose reception. We're going to hit the stairs. Got to find my homie. Bro, it ain't too hot to be wearing a suit listen bro it is definitely too hot to wear a suit i'm gonna have to keep wiping this sweat off my nose but i gotta keep it matched for the ladies bro fuck that you know i mean i'm a player i dress like a player every day no matter what and i keep something on me because i'm always with beautiful women so you know i gotta have a lethal weapon i gotta be able to kill somebody if it gets to that point you don't want it to but it might always prepared Here we go. Take the stairs. I took the stairs. I'm out the stairs. I am the stairs to ascendance, transcending. There are a lot of drug addicts in Las Vegas, and I'm going to point them out to y'all. The point of the message is, ladies and gentlemen, Drink you some alcohol, maybe smoke a little weed, but don't you do no damn drugs. How do you meet so many beautiful women? Man, leave your house. First of all, take a shower. Leave your house. Hopefully put on something fresh and fly as best as you can. Oh, hold on now. They got to play a lost. Oh, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't usually come here. Where are you from originally? Bro, I'm from a little cow town in Georgia. Statesboro, Georgia, 6,000 people. College town. No opportunity, so I got the fuck up out of there. Talk to some fine young ladies. That's what I do. That's my stilo. Huh? I knock beautiful women. That's what I do. Any advice for big women? Honestly, without sounding harsh, without trying to sound harsh, exercise, take care of your health. Not for a man, but for yourself. Because when you love yourself that deeply, you want yourself to be the best version of you. And when you take care of yourself, you're going to feel better. Most importantly, your body is going to be in better condition. You will look better and you will get better results. So that's all I got to say. Stay healthy. Alkaline bust down. Drink of water. Nice. Excellent. Did you have to pay for parking or not? Nah? 
you know, players in Vegas don't pay for parking, you know? I got that Nevada ID, so it's free. But for a tourist, like yourself, you will for sure pay. Absolutely. We almost at my homie, y'all. It's my bro, bro. So when I introduce y'all to my homie, y'all give him a follow, bro. Stand up guy, solid dude. Cameron Devon crew on the Las Vegas Strip. Las Vegas Boulevard, Nevada. Yee Groovy. I'm right in front of the link right now. We got Caesars Palace across the street. You know what I'm saying? Take it in. I'm about to pull up on my cousin, a very top level promoter out here in Vegas. So whenever you visit Vegas, my cousin can hook you up with whatever nightclub, day club, or evening experience that you need. So that's what we're doing. I was just live on TikTok, driving in the convertible, showing y'all Las Vegas, how we live, and how we do what we do. What we do, what we do. Trying to find my cousin. We got crazy shit in Vegas, look at this. We got, we got, we got huh? random bitches twerking, you know what I mean? Randoms twerking. Look, like I support. I want y'all to meet my cousin, this is E. Lucas Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon everybody. Yes indeed, look, he's a very professional promoter. When you come to Vegas... I got the polo shirt on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when you come to Vegas, you gotta tap in with Elliot. He'll get you the hookup for the nightclub, day club, whatever evening event or restaurants you need. Man. <laughs> yes, and he's swole. Look at the shoulder game on him, you know what I mean? Put the muscles up one time, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright man, and I got another real one, I'm going to show you in a second, that's Edson. You know what I mean? Edson is raw. Edson is raw. Now how's Vegas looking right now, bro? Vegas is extremely busy, extremely yeah. busy. If you're not here, you're missing out. You what's, right the, now. Like, like, what's the main move everybody needs to do when they come out here? The pool club, the nightclub, what? Oh, uh, you got to go, I mean, you definitely got to stay on the strip. Don't stay off the strip. Yeah. You gotta check out Amia Nightclub right there, Caesars. We gotta check out Town Beach Club. We gotta check out Encore. We gotta check out White Republic, Marquee Day Club, all the good spots. Yeah, absolutely, bro. You know, that's how we do it in Vegas, man. Y'all stay tuned. Keep it organic, stay healthy, alkaline, bust down, drink a green juice. Alkaline